Hello my soccer universe! The international break is upon us and we'll actually get a little treat right up, up front with the Nations League Final Four. Yes, it is upon us and yes, it's a little bit out of sync or maybe it's not. Yeah, it's a little bit out of sync because the Euro should have happened last year and the Nations League Final Four should have happened in summer. However, now we get kind of a big Euro revenge in many ways, uh, we have the European champions in a repeat of the semi-final of Wembley against Spain and we have Belgium against France. However, before I give you a little bit more uh, background info on these two matchups and a little bit more, this background I've made in this afternoon, I took out all my, almost all my club shirts. They don't fit all anymore in the wardrobe, so I have them here. And I... Uh, help with my daughter she chose the shirts that will put up here although she wanted to put this one I said nah this one I'm gonna wear because that's the euro winning shirt uh, so yeah I hope you like it we tried to make it with the four nations as colorful as possible yes I'm a little bit short on Belgium jerseys uh, and so yeah it's it is what what it is. Um, so back to the final four. We have here the matchups. Uh, I give you already the chances. It starts at the uh, final four is played in Milan and in Turin. So Milano and Torino and uh, San Siro and in the Allianz uh, Stadium. And we have first, and this is already on Wednesday, so the day when this posts, um, we have Italy playing Spain repeat. Thanks to goal difference. Um, Italy is heavily, uh, not goal difference, thanks to home field advantage, Italy is heavily favored in this one. 61% um, chances of advancing to the final. Belgium, France, a little bit more even. Uh, I think without home field advantage, Italy is kind of slightly ahead, slightly ahead of France, but home field advantage pushes them through. Belgium France has it a little bit more even uh, with Belgium favored 55 over 40 uh, to 45 but it's just based on to, on to the ELO and FIFA ratings. It's a matchup where both kind of disappointing teams from the Euros uh, have a chance to make it up. Belgium still has a bone to pick with France given they lost the uh, World Cup semi-final against them and Belgium seemingly always loses to France so you know they have a big monkey uh, to get off their back there let's see how it will work France definitely needs to show that they are made of you know that they're much better, better better team which I think the whole final four Italy kind of would like to confirm the status of the reigning European champions Spain of course we are back we want to show that we uh, that uh, Euro 2020 was not a fluke and maybe we can win a tournament along the way Belgium yeah I would say last realistic chance for them of winning something in France yeah we were before the Euros the best team in the world generally considered let's prove ourselves so I think it's a very intriguing final four uh, with really big names and big nations in there. As for the overall tournament winner uh, chances, you see it down, down there. We have Italy ahead of Belgium, ahead of France, ahead of Spain. So the Euros really boosted Italy's chances and uh, we'll see. And got them ahead of Belgium and France because I know when the draw was made, it was actually Italy fourth in the ranking there. Uh, but yeah, the difference almost a year makes so yeah i'm really exciting look looking forward to that i will actually have my content now very much national team related we will talk about the world cup qualifiers which happened then uh on the friday after the final four uh all on one day more or more or less with which i think is interesting um and i will have also other content very much now i'll show you a few national team jerseys uh i'll show you all my european national team jerseys the videos come coming up and yeah, uh, taking a little bit breather from the club game before we dive back into it. In any ways, uh, let me know what you th think, how this tournament will be going, who will win it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.